everybody welcome back uh, today we're gonna have a tutorial on twitch spawn so twitch spawn is a interactive minecraft mod that you can use with your twitch account it allows people to interact with you including donations follows subscriptions even bits all of this can come together with your twitch account at the twitch spawn mod and a streaming platform like streamlabs and in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to set up your Twitch spawn with Streamlabs. Since Twitch spawn requires Forge, we're going to head over to the Forge website and download the version that we're looking for. And in my case, I'm using 1.12.2. So we're going to go ahead and download the recommended version. We're going to download the installer and we're going to go ahead and save that to our saves folder. We'll click on save file. Next, we're going to go ahead and head over to Curse Forge where we can download the version of Twitch Spawn that we're going to be needing. And in my case, we're going to need version 1.12.2. So we're going to go ahead and download the latest version of that, which is version 0.8.1. So we'll click on download and we'll save that file as well. Now this mod does work with Optifine and I am going to be using shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and also download Optifine as well. So we'll go ahead and download the version uh, 1.12 Optifine HDUF5. So we'll click on download and we'll download that and we'll put that in the mods folder later as well. All right, now that we have everything downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and double click on the Forge installer so that we can install Forge. We're gonna install the client, so just go ahead and click OK, and that should install Forge for you, no problem. Now what I would like to do is, I like to launch Minecraft and make sure that the Forge loads. We wanna make sure that we're selecting the Forge version, and then we click play, and we let Minecraft do its thing, download all the files that are needed, and make sure that the forge loader is actually loaded with no problems all right once we're able to verify that the forge loader has been installed properly we need to get to the mods folder and the easiest way to get to the mods folder is to go ahead and click on options and then click on resource packs and then open resource pack folder then we can go ahead and close out of minecraft and then what we want to do is click on the minecraft folder and then click on the mods folder now in the mods folder is where we're gonna put, uh, right now I'm gonna put Optifine in first, and then we're gonna relaunch Minecraft and make sure that everything loads with no problem. And once we're able to verify that everything loads with no problem, yep, as you can see Optifine here was loaded with no issues. Quit the game, and then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, Twitch Spawn in the mods folder. And then we're going to launch Minecraft again and just verify that Twitch Spawn was loaded with no issues as well. Click on Mods and then as you can see, we can click on Twitch Spawn and it loaded with no problems. We'll click on Done and then we can actually start a single player game here. Click on a, a world that we created and as you can see, it'll say Twitch Spawn is currently not running. Now, if you try to launch Twitch Spawn from here right now, you're probably gonna get an error. If we do something like slash Twitch Spawn start, you'll probably get an error that says something like, um, you don't have permissions to start Twitch Spawn. So let me show you how to get that result. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of Minecraft. And then from here, we're gonna go up a level to the Minecraft folder, and we're looking for the folder called config. So double click on the config folder, and in here we're looking for the Twitch Spawn folder, so double click on that. And now we're looking for the file called credentials.toml. Right click on that file, open it with Notepad++, and if you don't have that program, definitely download it. So click on edit with Notepad++, so it'll open up that file. Now let's talk about everything that's going on in this file. Alright, starting from the top, we have moderators Twitch. Now I haven't gotten a real good answer on what this does. So I'm not really too sure how to explain it to you, except that if you have moderators on Twitch, you can add their names in there. Moderators Minecraft allows you to add any streamer on, or, or any player on your Minecraft server to access the Twitch spawn commands. 
If you don't want anyone else in there, then just go ahead and leave your name as the moderator in there. Then we also have streamers, and this is where you're going to add any additional streamer that you might want to have on your server that's going to stream Minecraft. In my case, it's only gonna be me. So I'm gonna put my nickname in here as a natural cause for the Minecraft Nick. I'm gonna add my Twitch name, a natural cause as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have the platform as Streamlabs. And then we have token, and I'm gonna show you where to get that token here in just a second. Also note that the token chat is something you're gonna to wanna to do as well, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But for now, let's find out where to get the token for Streamlabs. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go ahead and open up a, a browser, and you'll want to go to streamlabs.com and sign into your account that you have with Twitch, because it should be linked together. So from there, once we log in, we're gonna scroll down on the bottom, scroll down and to the left side, we're gonna click on settings. And then from settings, we're gonna go ahead and click up on where it says API settings. And then from API settings, we're gonna click on API tokens. And the one that you need is your socket API token. Okay, that's the only one you need. So then on the right hand side, you can click on where it says copy and we'll copy that. Now once we copy that, we can add that to our credentials file. So let's minimize this and go back to the credentials file and we'll paste the token in right here. All right, now I've opened up my Minecraft server and you can see my Twitch in the background so that you can see what happens when we start Twitch spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and start Twitch spawn by typing out Twitch spawn uh, reconfig. We're gonna reconfig our scripts first. Always remember to do that. And then we can do Twitch spawn start. And that should start it on the server. Twitch spawn is now started on this server. Really good. However, it didn't do anything in our chat. Let's figure out why. Okay, remember earlier when I was talking about the token chat? So we're gonna have to visit that website and go through the steps to create that token. Once you go through the website, it'll, it'll spit out the token for you. Just copy and paste that token into the credentials file. Now I've already done it, so I'm just gonna copy over my original credentials file and you'll see that it now has the token chat in there. Now it'll be blanked out for obvious reasons. What we can do now is save that file, go back into Minecraft, let's start Minecraft up. Now remember to run Twitch spawn reload config, so it reloads the configuration files, and then let's go ahead and start Twitch spawn by running Twitch spawn start. And you'll see now in my chat, it says Twitch spawn is now connected to this chat. Hey folks. Thanks everybody for hanging out in this Twitch spawn tutorial. There's still a lot more to cover. I'll probably end up making another tutorial video, which will probably cover rules because those are very important when it comes to Twitch spawn. Without them, we wouldn't have the interactivity that uh, Twitch spawn offers. So thanks again for hanging out. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks again. Take care.